Water flowed over the tops and the side of this dam in the village of East Troy. The dam is at Highway 120 and Buell Drive. Highway 120 is closed while engineers inspect the dam and the surrounding area. Flood waters also washed out roads in Walworth County. Julia Fellow joining us live with that part of our coverage. Time and time again, we've seen people try to drive through this closed roadway. Law enforcement say that's extremely dangerous to do. Do not drive over standing water, let alone swim in it, because not only is it filthy, it could be very dangerous. That road could be washed out. The rain came down so hard and so fast. The city of Elkhorn's infrastructure simply could not keep up, and the police were flooded with calls. We probably had somewhere between 25 and 30, probably uh, either stalled vehicles in the roadway, putting up barricades to try to keep people from uh, going through it. Despite the warning signs, people keep taking the gamble. We found this group swimming in one of Elkhorn's overflowing retention ponds. Angel Cruz drove his car through this closed road. But you know that you shouldn't be doing that, right? No, I know. Do you think you could have hurt yourself? Probably, yes keeping police busy into the night. You just saw what we just saw, right? Yeah, that guy's crazy. He doesn't know if the road's washed out under that water or not, and it could be. Taking a live look outside here at Alcorn right off of Highway 11, you can see another car actually stopped talking to people, something that you really shouldn't do. Once again, law enforcement say the saying, turn around, don't drown, is something that you can always try to heed that warning because, once again, it can be very dangerous. You don't know what's underneath there. Reporting live under Alcorn, uh, in Alcorn, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. There's a reason why we say it.